Like I said, you know, this is very weird. She said, so what if it's weird? Dynasty star Katherine Oxenberg on the HBO docuseries The Vow. Now, she says her daughter was brainwashed by a cult run by Keith Raniere. And today, Raniere was sentenced. You think that you always have your mind, but the fact was that mine was hijacked. I was the first woman in my group of slaves to be branded. Catherine Oxenberg's daughter, India, who was branded with the sex cult leader's initials, told the sentencing judge today that Keith Raniere deserved life in prison. If he was released, you would hurt more people. And this afternoon, her wish came true. India was part of what prosecutors called a master-slave sisterhood that Raniere kept in line with blackmail. The cult also name-dropped Hollywood stars to recruit members. They said they had had people like Gerard Butler, Jennifer Aniston take the courses. Just a really good season two. Yeah. Smallville actress Allison Mack was a major player. She pled guilty last year to charges related to manipulating women, including India, into becoming sex slaves for Ranieri. So how did India break free? My daughter is not in her right mind. Her famous mother, Catherine, who shot the fame on Dynasty in the mid 80s, leveraged her celebrity to grab the attention of the media and prosecutors. She fought like hell and she didn't stop. I mean, you're gonna make me cry. We were on set for one of Catherine's most famous scenes, this pool fight with Heather Locklear. I'm hoping we can do it in one take. But for India, Catherine's latest real life role is her greatest. Their mother-daughter journey is at the heart of two major documentaries. This organization would still be going on if she hadn't exposed it in the media, in my opinion.